I'm Rabbi Alexander Davis, and on behalf of the Minnesota rabbis and cantors and Jewish chaplains, I welcome you. It probably goes without saying that we are living through unprecedented and challenging times. It's for this reason that we felt the need to gather as a Jewish community. We gather as Jews from across the state of Minnesota, something quite rare and precious in and of itself but we gather at a time of worry, of fear, of sadness. We gather from across the denominational spectrum with representatives from each of the synagogues and many of the institutions that lead our Minnesota Jewish community. We come together because in these times, we feel the need for community. We feel the tug of tradition, the yearning of our souls, And so we gather for this healing service to hold each other in prayer, to lift each other in song, to strengthen ourselves with Torah and to open our hearts in pain and in worry, in gratitude and in love. As we begin, let me offer just a word of instruction. We ask that you remain on mute during our service, but we invite you to use the chat to share names of those in need of healing. Those who require ASL interpretation can find Darcy Gilbert Burke on the screen and pin her window. We find ourselves in the middle of the Hebrew month of ER, spelled Aleph Yud Yud Resh. ER, the rabbis teach, stands for Ani Hashem Rofecha. I am God, your healer. This phrase comes from the Torah. It appears in the book of Exodus just after the Israelites leave Egypt and begin wandering in the desert towards Sinai. Having witnessed the plagues, we imagine the Israelites alone and scared as they journey through unfamiliar territory toward an unknown destination. It is just then that God reassures them saying, don't worry, I am God, your healer, Ani Hashem Rofecha. As we make our way towards Sinai on Shavuot, in what feels like uncharted territory, we too look for that assurance. We seek God who is a God of healing. And so we pray in the words of Rabbi Naomi Levy, we are frightened God, worried for our loved ones, worried for our world, helpless and confused, we turn to you, seeking comfort, faith and hope. Teach us God to turn our panic into patience and our fear into acts of kindness and support. Our strong must watch out for our weak, our young must take care of our old. Help reach each one of us to do our part to halt the spread of this virus. Send strength and courage to the doctors and nurses in the front lines of this battle. 
fortify them with the full force of their healing powers. Send wisdom and insight to the scientists working day and night across the world to discover healing treatments. Bless their efforts, God. Fill our leaders with wisdom and courage to choose wisely and act quickly. Help us, God, to see that we are one world, one people, who will rise above this pandemic together. Send us health, God. Watch over us. Grace us with your love. Bless us with your healing light. Hear us, God. Heal us, God. Amen. Me, Mama Kirati Chaya Omi Mama Ki Kirati Chaya Me Mama Ki Kirati Since biblical times, people have turned to psalms in times of distress and danger. These poems beseech and implore God to hear our prayer. Today we find that they give voice to our worry and our weariness, such as the words that Cantor Abrams, Audrey Abrams just chanted, Mi Mama Kim Karatiha, from out of the depths we call to you, the depths of our suffering, the depths of our heart. At this time, I'd like to invite Rabbi Max Davis to chant these words from Psalm 130. He'll be followed by the chairs of the Minnesota Rabbinical Association, Rabbi Aaron Weiniger and Rabbi Joe Crimmings, to lead us in prayer. Shir Hamalo Adonai Shim Avikoli, Yenos the Hakashuvo, the Kopahanunai. Kim Avono, Tishmoria Adonai Miyamod, Kim Hastelicha, Aleman Tivore. Kiviti Adonai Kivita Nafshi Belit Varo Halti Nafshi Ladunai Mishamri Laboke Shamri Laboke Yahel Israel Ladunai Ki Madunai Achesed Verbei Mopudu Vehu Yifte Israel Mikol Avonota Shirhamalot Out of the depths I call you God God, listen to my cry, let your ears hear my plea for mercy. I look to you, I await your word more eagerly than the watchman awaits the morning. O Israel, wait for Hashem, for with Hashem is steadfast love and the power to redeem. Out of the depths, creator of the universe, God of a thousand names and faces, divine source of health and wholeness, whose compassion embraces the entire community of earth. Behold your fearful people all over the world as we confront the coronavirus. Mi ma'amakim karatiha, out of the depths we cry to you, God. Shema kolenu, hear our voices. Let your ear be attentive to our cries as we pray for all who are affected by this virus. I invite you to join me with the refrain while remaining on mute. Mima Amakim, from out of the depths, we call to you, protect them. For all healthcare givers, nurses, physicians, aides, EMTs, paramedics, technicians, and therapists. Mima Amakim, from out of the depths, we call to you, protect them. For hospital and nursing home medical staff, assistants and housekeepers who have close contact with patients and for the patients themselves. Mima Amakim, from out of the depths, we call to you, protect them. 
for daycare center staff who cuddle and comfort children and for all children. Nima Amakim, from out of the depths, we call to you, protect them. For the homeless huddling for warmth over steam grates and under urban bridges. Nima Amakim, from out of the depths, we call to you, protect them. For the poor, the lonely, the vulnerable, migrants, and the isolated elderly who have no protectors. Nima Amakim, from out of the depths, we call to you, protect them. For all who have tested positive, all who are waiting for test results, and all who are quarantined. Nima Amakim, from out of the depths, we call to you, protect them. For clergy and chaplains and hospice workers who minister to the sick and dying. Nima Amakim, from out of the depths, we call to you, protect them. For first responders, for the farmers, for the grocers, for the transit and delivery workers, for all those who's, who risk their health and safety to provide essential services. Nima Amakim, from out of the depths we call to you, protect them. What is the difference between resignation and acceptance? Resignation implies, I can't do anything about this situation, so be it. But acceptance invites us one step further. Even though I do not choose this situation, I open myself to what it has to offer. Not just I am open, but the deeper intention of, I open myself. As we open our hearts, we experience a spectrum of feelings, fear, but also longing, anger, confusion, love, shame, and hope. Why would we invite all of those emotions into our fuller awareness? Because the healing and the hurt, they live side by side because joy and sorrow are twins. Yes, we need, but we also need to clear space for expressions of lament. Just as in the days of the prophet Jeremiah, when we lament, we allow ourselves to passionately express our grief and our sorrow. Laments, they can feel awkward or messy and they sound strange, but laments are the keys that open locked doors of the soul. So please join me as we view the beautiful artwork by Twin Cities artist, Sarah Schalliger. Relax your body, loosen your shoulders, Take a deep 
breath. Close your eyes if you want and breathe again. A little deeper now, a little slower. Feel your clenched jaw and release it. Let your furrowed brow lie smooth. We will breathe in a blessing, hold it for a moment, then breathe out a lament. You may want to exhale with an audible sigh or a low moan or even a wail. This is a time for blessing and for lamenting. We breathe in the gift of love for our families and friends. We cherish these connections. We breathe out our lament for all that separates us from each other. We grieve our isolation and loneliness. We breathe in the gift of courage through caregivers and essential workers. We honor their service. We breathe out our lament for those who are ill and those who have died. We grieve for those who cannot work and struggle to sustain well being. We breathe in the gift of kindness that eases tensions and builds understanding. We savor chesed, compassion. We breathe out our lament for impatience and ingratitude. We grieve the ways injustice grows when we avert our eyes. Breathe in a blessing, name it in your heart, hold it close. Breathe out its lament. Name it in your life. Grieve it. And now release it. Amen. We thank Rabbi Lynn Liberman for leading that exercise and Cantor Rachel Stock Spilker for sharing that tefillah. The Minnesota Rabbinical Association counts in our ranks over 40 rabbis. We are rabbis who serve synagogues, hospitals, nursing homes, universities, and schools, rabbis who are retired, rabbis who are consultants, teachers, and more. Relatively new to the local professional community are the Jewish chaplains of the Twin Cities. These chaplains work within and beyond the Jewish community, serving in hospitals, hospice, care facilities, and prisons. The Minnesota Cantors Association includes cantors serving synagogues, hospitals, and schools. Tonight, we feature them singing a variety of our traditional healing prayers. We are blessed to have rabbis, cantors, and chaplains leading our community. We call upon them to share with us their prayers of healing. Hello. With the video on. With the video on. For those who are sick, for those with chronic illness and underlying health concerns, for all those who are suffering. 
for those who are lonely, for those who have no one to check on them, for families that are separated. For those who are unemployed, for those suffering financial hardships, for those who face an uncertain future. For those who are suffering from physical or emotional abuse, for those who are disproportionately suffering because of societal structures and unjust policies, for those who are struggling with physical or mental disabilities, for those who are overwhelmed by anxiety and stress. For those who are dying, for those who have died while saving the lives of others, for all who have lost their lives. For those who have survived, for those who have lost their spouses, for children who have been orphaned, for all those who mourn and those who comfort them. For firefighters, police, and emergency medical workers, for doctors, nurses, and healthcare professionals, for those who serve the armed forces. For public officials, for business leaders, for educators, for innovators and inventors who provide new solutions. For peace in our city and in our world, for renewed friendships among neighbors, for solidarity and unity among all peoples, for a greater appreciation and love for all humanity. For patience and perseverance, for calm in the midst of fear, for grace to overcome adversity. For generosity of spirit, for hope in times of despair, for light in the darkness. El Rahum Vechanun, gracious and compassionate God, you are our comforter and our hope. Shma Kolenu, hear our prayers as we come before you. Strengthen us in this time of need, inspire us to acts of solidarity and generosity, and give us hope of a brighter future. Amen. The coronavirus prayer. Loving God, your desire is for our wholeness and well-being. We hold in tenderness and prayer the collective suffering of our world at this time. We grieve precious lives lost and vulnerable lives threatened. We ache for ourselves and our neighbors standing before an uncertain future. We pray love May love, not fear, go viral. Inspire our leaders to discern and choose wisely, aligned with the common good. Help us to practice social distancing and reveal to us new and creative ways to come together in spirit and in solidarity. Call us to profound trust in your faithful presence you who gathers us beneath your wings. Amen.
Minnesota spreads from the Twin Cities throughout the state. At this time, we invite Rabbi David Steinberg from Temple Israel in Duluth to share with us a prayer for this time of uncertainty. He'll be followed by Rabbi Michelle Warner of B'nai Israel Synagogue in Rochester to share with us her prayer recognizing the kindness heroes in our midst. A prayer, for, a prayer for our uncertain times. May we, who are merely inconvenienced, remember those whose lives are at stake. May we, who have no risk factors, remember those most vulnerable. May we, who have the luxury of working from home, remember those who must choose between preserving their health and making their rent. May we, who have the flexibility to care for our children when their schools close, remember those who have no options. May we who have to cancel our trips, remember those who have no safe place to go. May we who are losing our margin money in the tumult of the economic market, remember those who have no margin at all. May we who settle in for a quarantine at home, remember those who have no home. As fear grips our country, let us choose love. And during this time, when we may not be able to physically wrap our arms around each other, let us yet find ways to be the loving embrace of God to our neighbors. Amen. We are all humbled by the magnitude of what is rising up around us. We are not dwarfed by it. Goodness is rising around us at every turn, and tales of heroic deeds abound. Let us turn our thoughts to those who struggle and those who serve, to open outward as we do every week in offering a prayer of healing. If you and your loved ones are safe and healthy, Please take a moment to allow gratitude for that well-being to fill the space of your home. If you're thinking of someone in particular who's suffering, either as a result of the current events or perhaps from other causes, but surely impacted by these events, please take a moment to send them a virtual hug and a blessing for support. If you're fortunate enough to have them close at hand, allow the depth of that precious gift to make itself felt. Please take a moment to notice what is different about today, about this moment. How is something possible that seemed impossible only yesterday? What ray of hope has entered your life? Where is there a glimmer? Cast your focus and your attention on that glimmer now. I invite you to take a moment to absorb that light, to say something to someone, to another person present or virtual about what you appreciate in that person and what you are grateful for. If you're with someone, take a moment to share what you hold sacred in your heart. If you're by yourself, send that thought to someone whom you hold dear. Take a moment to think of someone in your world who brings strength and kindness to bear. If you're with your family and would like to share with them the name of your hero of kindness and strength, do so now. If you want to share a word or a name, feel free to use the chat feature. And I would like to add the blessing I created, the blessing for reaching out and feeling received. Baruch Ata Adonai, Mikor Nefesh Kolchai, Mikor Habracha. Blessed are you, Adonai, source of all being, fountain of blessing, who has created us to know that we are not alone. Sheberahimotenu Sararif Kaleya Verachel the one who blessed our fathers, 
May the one who blessed our fathers hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. And bless us as well. we thank Canterbury Abelson for sharing that tefillah. Rabbi Israel Salanter once said that someone else's physical needs are my spiritual responsibility. We know that our prayers are important but not enough, especially now when the needs of so many are so real. Our Jewish community is strengthened by the incredible work of organizations that support us in countless ways. We invite the heads of some of these organizations to share with us a message tonight. I am Ted Flam, CEO of the St. Paul Jewish Federation. On behalf of the St. Paul Jewish Federation, Minneapolis Federation, and all federations around the country, we are here for you and for our entire Jewish communities. I am Ruth Olkan of Jewish Family Service of St. Paul, and we are here for you to help seniors age in place, address mental health concerns, and provide emergency financial assistance. Hello, I'm Barbara Click, Shalom CEO. We're here to serve all the seniors who live with us and to also care and be a resource for our community. Hello, I'm Judy Helper, CEO at Jewish Family and Children's Service of Minneapolis. We are here for all, always. Please consider connecting with us if you need help. Hi, I'm Jim Cohen, CEO of Minneapolis Jewish Federation. And on behalf of everyone at Federation and Jewish Federations of North America, I just want to say that we are thinking of you, we're working on your behalf, and most of all, we're here for you. To access these and other resources, we invite you to find further information on the link that we'll be posting in the chat and on the screen share that we'll be sharing. We want to highlight and thank those organizations that are sponsoring this healing service. We want you to know as well that the rabbis of the Minnesota Rabbinical Association, the cantors of the Minnesota Cantors Association, and the chaplains of the Twin Cities Jewish Chaplain listed on your screen are here for you as well. Our service is drawing to a close with a prayer led by Rabbi Adam Stock Spilker and Rabbi Ariel Lekach Rosenberg. And we'll conclude with Debbie Friedman's beloved version, Mishaberach Sun by Cantor Jen Strauss-Klein. As we end, we invite you to remain on mute, but to take the songs and the prayers with you into your evening and into our world. When this is over, may we never again take for granted a handshake with a stranger, full shelves at the store, conversations with neighbors, a crowded theater, Kabbalah Shabbat, a routine checkup, the school rush each morning, coffee with a friend, the stadium roaring, each deep breath, a boring Tuesday, life itself. When this ends, may we find that we have become more like the people we wanted to be, we were called to be, we hoped to be, and may we stay that way, better for each other because of the worst. Amen. Me me 
ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say amen Bless those in need of healing with refuge, Lema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Amen. Thank you.